Hey guys, so I know this is a bit of a strange angle to be filming from, but don't worry, it's not going to be like this for too long. I am going to shift my focus. But yeah, welcome to this week's video. It is the first official art video of 2021. Um, it did take me a while to get into finally start filming this year. Uh, if you didn't know, recap from last week's video, I moved countries from sunny South Africa to the freezing cold south of France. And I'm here in Europe now making art. I'm full-time freelancing as a graphic designer and visual artist. So yeah, crazy times uh, moving during a global pandemic, but I'm loving it here. I'm finally settled in and I'm ready to start making more videos for you guys. So February is my birthday month and my friend who lives in London, she wanted to send me a birthday gift. So she knows that I absolutely love the Winsor Newton Cartman palettes. I currently own a set of 12 half pans and I love these things. Uh, I was gifted them from my aunt and then I went and bought some refills and I've used these so much i absolutely absolutely love them yes yeah, so she went out and got me oh, i can't believe it it's the 45 half pan cotman set from winsor and newton so these just arrived from amazon like th uh, three days ago and i've been dying to open them but i really wanted to film it and make the video i had work and whatnot so i couldn't film them and i just wanted to use them so badly but i couldn't so i'm finally get to open these paints i'm so excited this is what it looks like <laughs> for size reference this pan is like 20 years old it's amazing ah, yeah this is a 20 year old or it's roughly uh, 20 years old and this is new oh my gosh okay so when we open it <laughs> this is so beautiful oh my gosh it's so beautiful it opens up i've got a beautiful nice palette um where i can mix my colors here are all the paints so there's 45 colors uh yeah so we're gonna unravel all of these un what's the word un play uh, <laughs> we're gonna put them in the pan and start using them stick around if you want to see more ah, okay cool see you now <laughs> hey guys i'm just jumping in here quickly i know this is like filmed on a different day and a different time but the artwork that i'm creating in this youtube video is going to be for sale on my Etsy shop, which the information's at the end of the video. And you'll be able to purchase the artwork that I create in these YouTube videos this year. So, cool. Okay, continue. Okay, so let's start. What I'm gonna do first is create a grid. So what I'm gonna do is I actually wanna get some like swatches in. So I'm quickly gonna just draw a little grid. Um, let's see trying to think yeah let's just draw a little grid so I'm just doing this on 300 GSM watercolor acryl paper um, whoopsie and I'm literally just gonna draw a grid how many is this for oh gosh this mass okay there's 45 9 and 5 so let's go with one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I'm not very good at maths, guys, if you're laughing. Um, <laughs> okay, these aren't going to be perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got our 45 grid. Super exciting. Oh my goodness gracious me. They are beautiful. Wow, okay. Let's do this. I wonder if I'm going to need scissors. Um, oh, no, I don't. Okay. First one down. I feel like I need some music. As you can see, I wanted to make a swatch page of the colors that I have to work with and this way I can see what they look like when they're wet and once they've dried and on watercolor paper, which is what I would typically use these paints for. So I got to work and I actually really enjoyed um, doing this swatch black page. It was really fun to see all the different colors come together and how they work in relation to one another. There were a lot of really beautiful colors and I must say I really do like the mauve color 
which is kind of in the center it's like that pinky purple color before it reaches the deep purple I also noticed that I had two ultramarine blues two yellow ochres two ivory blacks and two Chinese whites I also quite surprisingly loved indigo which is on the bottom row the third one from the right the left <laughs> here is the swatches if you want you can screenshot it to see all the colors and have it for your own reference Although this is a Winsor Newton Cotman paint sort of swatch and review, the <laughs> I did buy some new brushes from Amazon and I am going to want to test them out in this artwork and this video. They are synthetic nylon brushes that I got for 13 euros and I got a pack, I think there's 24 brushes in total. There's quite a selection of them, all sorts of different ones. And I will be doing a review on these brushes, but I don't want to review them just yet as I want to be able to use them for a few paintings and see how they go over time. Although first impressions, I really did like them. They are very soft, the brushes don't fall out, and they look really cute as well with the white. Obviously the white gets stained very quickly. We'll see how they go at the end of the video. And the size, the length of the brush is actually perfect. I thought they were going to be longer and I was just going to cut them down. But they actually arrived and they were perfect. So super happy with the brushes. So obviously I didn't want to just do swatches. I did actually want to create a little painting to show you how they work when you paint with them. And kind of see all the different colours. So obviously like I said previously I have recently moved to Europe. And I'm loving it here and there are so many beautiful buildings and old doors and walls and it's just so beautiful and I am a door fanatic and I love seeing old doors so I wanted to paint one of them this is an old door that I found in the little town that I'm staying in my partner and I often go on walks and I am forever taking photos and he gets so annoyed but it's fine because uh, yeah it makes me really happy anyway I actually recently started a entire Instagram page called Hansila Explores which I'll link in the description and pop it on the screen here and if you like doors and European looking houses you can follow that page and I post all my door pictures and funny things that I find in and around Europe also when I went to Paris we saw some interesting things and I uh, post those on as well so have a look on that Instagram page it is fairly new but lots of fun things are going to come on it now this picture that I was referencing is very yellow and green and acidic and I just felt that it needed a bit of warmth or a little bit of magenta in it so I added some pink to the top um, just to kind of not make it so acidic. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then I added, there's a lot of moss on the floor but it kind of looks like a bit of a bush as well so kind of just did that on the floor to create some uh, what's the word, juxtaposition of the colours, just to create some lightness and darkness. And then I went in and did the windows and worked back in with a piece of paper towel to dab up the remaining water. So that's another technique that I used here. I actually really enjoyed doing this painting and it's quite funny because I'm not really one for watercolours. I never really did it that often, like I, I did enjoy it and I did have tons of watercolours and I did, I did do it every now and then but it wasn't like something I was incredibly skilled at and I never would practice in it you know because acrylic paint and oil paint was more of my go-to uh, and gouache as well I love gouache but I've had lots of fun with the watercolors and yeah it's definitely having these pans and palettes to play with has definitely upped my sketchbook game now when we look at these brushes you can see there is a bit of stain on the white bristles so I don't think that's going to come out anytime soon but hey it's fine they show that they've been used. I did a little pull test to see that the bristles didn't come out and they didn't so I'm really impressed with the quality of these. This is now my favorite part, pulling off the tape. I absolutely love this part. It's like really therapeutic for some reason. I don't know if anyone else feels that way and the sound it makes goes shh when you take it off. Like I don't know, it's pretty cool. Also guys, Amazon is dangerous. Why? Because I can buy so much art supplies and it's so easy so Oh, it's not good but anyway it's really good I picked up this little Posca pen it's just a white paint marker and I signed my name with it and then went back into the artwork and added in some highlights just two parts that I wanted a bit more oomph with my white 
I was just being a little bit selective and picking up points that I wanted to protrude forward a little bit. And yeah, so that's that's it guys. This is my little testing of my Winsor Newton watercolour Cotman paints and I hope you enjoyed this little artwork. Hey guys, so I just want to jump in here quickly. I hope it's not too loud because I am outside, but I just want to let you know that this artwork here and hopefully all the artwork that I end up creating this year on YouTube is going to be uploaded and sold on my Etsy shop, Hand Sealer Art, which I recently just started. You see, the place where I stay at the moment is quite a small house and I don't have the space to keep all the art that I create, especially when I start doing my canvas artworks. So I am going to just start selling them. Um, but yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, all in all, I was really impressed with those Cotman paints and also with the paintbrushes. I am going to do, like I said, a more in-depth review of the paintbrushes when I've used them a bit more. But yeah, I was really impressed with them. I want to try them out on gouache and acrylic as well. I don't have any oil paint with me, uh, but that's okay. I can try them on the paints that I do have at the moment. And yeah, the Windsor Newtons were super bright, super vibrant. I'm very impressed with them. I love how they came out. They blend really nicely. And yeah, all in all, big thumbs up from me. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a lovely, wonderful week. And I will see you next week, Monday. Uh, it's actually my birthday next week, Monday. So that's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys then. And have a lovely week. Please check out my Etsy shop. And cool. Bye.